Yo, what's up, guys? It has been a welcome back to another video today. It's Chef Wednesday for Soak City. Now, uh, yeah, we've never actually, uh, we haven't, we played Soak City earlier this season, and this is like my first trip to the Soak City Stadium, or like Bet365, or whatever you want to call it. I, I think that's what it is. I'm not sure. Tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. But um, yeah, the second time we've played them this season, I can't remember what happened uh, when we played them at home. Uh, I think it was a it was a draw two two and Bannon scored that free kick in the last minute. That's it. Anyway, um, today we're obviously in Stoke. Um, I'm expecting big things. I saw the training video. Chef was there, like Hooper, Lee's, Forestieri. I mean, not Lee's, Lee. Like all back in training. So hopefully we should see them in the starting lineup or in the on the subs bench. So talking about the subs bench and the starting lineup, let's give a quick look at the starting 18. So guys, in goal we got Westwood, of course. Left back, we've got Palmer, Lees, and um, Iorfa, uh, not Iorfa, Lees and Hector in the middle, Iorfa on the right, in the right back position, then uh, Reach uh, is probably on the right, and uh, Aaron's on the left, uh, Hutchinson in the middle with Bannon, and are you ready for this guys, striking up top today, in the strike positions, Hooper making his first return in somewhat forever, basically, and Forestieri coming back from that little hamstring injury. So excited to see that deadly duo up top again. Like, oh, it reminds me of the days of Carlos and when we used to be in the playoffs and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it. We, we could really easily win this today. I think we can, and I think it's going to be 3-1 to Wednesday. So, yeah. On the subs, got Dawson, Fox, Palupsi, Boyd, Matthias, Winnell, and Atty, new are you. So, that's it for the the starting 11 on the bench now we're gonna head over to the stokes stadium um yeah obviously i can't go in it's still not vlogging again this is probably what it's gonna be from my usual but i'll tell you my uh, thoughts of the game afterwards and uh, reaction to the results so hopefully it's 3-1 we just we need this result right now it will really push uh, up to the playoffs and put pressure on all the teams around us because we need to get in the playoffs. Like the season, we could actually do it. The season, come on, see Bruce Barmy Army. Let's go. So, guys, as you saw there, it was a little draw. Quite boring. Once again, the international break kind of messing us up and knocking us off form. We went into international break, international break um, two points off playoffs uh, with a 4-2 win uh, as our last game. <laughs> then we came out, got a 0-0 draw. We uh, should have lost probably uh, because they were kind of all over us throughout the game and we were just second best to most things. Um, and then also, uh, now we're like four points off playoffs or something three or four points off now So, you know, we're, we're slowly going down the table and I feel if we lose to Aston Villa That's probably it and then not in Forest if we lose to them as well. That'll probably be the icing on the cake to um, end off our season um, If that is the end of our season and we will not get in playoffs then we had a great run um, God's sake, I wish we didn't have Joss Hukai because he messed up our season. We would be in playoffs, it went for him. Or maybe even promotion. But next year, year we're going to chop up the league. We're going to absolutely fly through it, hopefully. And But yeah, the game was alright. We had a few chances here and there. Um, right at the end, we got this corner like way over extra time I was like oh if we get this it's gonna be daylight robbery sadly we didn't get it we were quite close though and uh, we had quite a few dangerous corners they had like 13 corners or something like that something ridiculous obviously won the fouls again the ref was absolutely shocking Just, like 
Stoke City players would just um, just dive all over the ball and just give every single one. I remember one when the ball was coming to Bannon, or Lees I think it was, and um, I think it was a phobe, he just ran and tripped himself over Lees' leg and the ball hadn't even reached him yet and then he gave him a foul for it, like, what? Like the ball, they didn't even get to the ball, he just tripped over Lees' leg on purpose, just to get a foul and it worked, like, oh how'd he take the bait that bad, like the ref was terrible. But anyway guys, please, please, please tell me what to do because um, I need to more content to fill in because I'm going to go to Forest at home because I can't actually make it and uh, my dad's actually not taking me to Aston Villa, my mum is because my dad's away. But yeah, so I'm going to need some content to fill in for this week and next week in the weekdays. Um, if I don't get any suggestions, well, probably won't do any content because... I'm struggling for ideas at the moment. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoy this one. Uh, leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully, Aston Villa can be much better. This is going to be probably our, our make or break for the playoffs game this season. Right. Bring on the Villa. Drink.